So a few weeks ago, I made a video talking about the most powerful players in Rides of Kingdoms, and a lot of you guys were like, hey, Omniarch, that, that's actually really cool, but the real thing that matters is kills, which is true. Like who actually cares if you're some mega whale, if you don't actually get any kills in Rides of, <clears throat> uh, um, Anyway, today we're going to take a look at the top 10 most savage, most deadly warriors in Rise of Kingdoms history. And I know what you're thinking, but the official list from a month ago is way outdated. What's going on, guys? Cheers. All right, so let's just jump right into it. Quick disclaimer, obviously this list is going to change over time. The players we're going to be talking about on this list are all insane fighters. But as of today, October 29th, 2021, I think I've compiled the top 10. Now, of course, if some governors quit playing a long time ago and their data doesn't show up in the rankings list for a kingdom, there's no real way that I could know that they are there, especially in every single kingdom in this game. And with that being said, guys, videos like this take longer than my normal videos because I have to make accounts and get them up to level eight in all sorts of different kingdoms just to verify this data. So if you could drop a thumbs up on the video, it really helps out a ton. It lets me know that you appreciate the effort that goes into these. And with that being said, let's take a look at the first entry on this list, the 10th most deadly player in Rise of Kingdoms. And that player is none other than Bunny. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the one that we all know and love, the legendary the infamous bunny in kingdom 1254 my man has a single achievement on the wall it's 1 billion unit kills he doesn't care about anything else in this game he just wants to make sure that you are dead he's coming in here with 12 billion 858,176,278 kill points let's take a look here the t5 kills absolutely insane he has double the t5 kill points as he does the t4 kill points he's killed almost an even amount of those troops absolutely insane 432 million t5 kills 416 million t4 kills my man doesn't mess around okay let's take a look at the album here he respects women that is great i just i like the dedication here to the cause of respecting women i think it's an it's an important cause i mean let's go claps in the comments boys Let, let's go respecting women it's simple looks like he is currently at his highest power of 502 million absolutely insane let's take a look at the commanders here we got lohar the ranger tax officer we got the isongye we got the ramses we got the Zhang Yu and we got the Chandra. You already know he's got the best commander. He's got the best of the best because you don't get this many kill points if you don't got the best of the best. 219,000 victories, 2,185 defeats, 94,968,000 dead troops. That's actually insane. And he's rocking the Germany civilization, okay? You already know why. My man is training troops like it's like it's his day job, okay? But this is just number 10 on the list. Let's move on. Coming in at number nine on the list, we have Wine Lover from Kingdom 1769. My man has 13 billion. 527,879,390 kill points. Let's see how that is distributed. Pretty much the same amount of kill points from T4 and T5. He's got 350 million T5 kills, 617 million T4 kills. Actually, pretty crazy little spoiler alert here this is actually the youngest kingdom you're gonna see on this entire list so that is really interesting i also just want to point out that he's actually a wine lover this is look resources is what we loot not what we farm my man doesn't y'all you guys are paying for his troops bro not him okay and look i gotta say we started off with bunny respecting women and now we have wine lover a, just a gentleman who truly enjoys the art of wine tasting is it possible that the top 10 list here of most kills are actually the classiest gentlemen in all of rise of kingdoms i mean let's be real of course that's the case my man is at 409 million power rocking the germany civilization 173,000 victories 2300 defeats and 42 million 
392,000 dead troops. Wine lover absolutely spilling blood with Nebu, Guan, Zhang Yu, and Bybars. What on earth is Bybars doing as your charge captain? Sir, are you okay? Are you rallying with Bybars? What is going on here? Please, someone explain. Coming in at number eight, we have Abdul MG from Kingdom 1230. My man has 13,703,000,000 total kill points. Absolutely insane. Well, let's take a look at the breakdown here. We have 409 million T5 kills. We have 544 T4 kills. The kill point distribution heavily in favor of the T5. Okay. My man is killing everything on the battlefield. He doesn't care if it's golden, what commander's in front of it. It's dying. Okay. Let's take a look here at the album. We've got Lieutenant Dan saying Abdul single handedly knocked me out of the next three KV games. That's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. Are you a fighter pilot? What's going on here? Yo, this KVK that he had in June of this year, 20.5 million of your troops died in battle. Half of them came back. That's actually crazy. Oh, it looks like this one was from September. 25 million troops died in battle. Jeez. Looks like he has 312,000 victories, 3,500 defeats. 80 million dead troops no stranger to killing off his own units absolutely crazy they're going to a good cause of course if we take a look at this commanders it is all gold everything my man even expertise moctezuma like eight and he brought him level 60 what on or what is going on here my man's just got extra commander sculptures to blow on someone like Mon moctezuma like what even why Anyway, we got Pakal, we got Harold, we got Chandra Gupta, we got Zhang Yu. My man is killing over here in the commander game. Look at these achievements. Flight of the Heron, Amber Fortress, Frozen Fortress, Milk Abbey, and the Road to the Crown. At 390 million power, Abdul still rocking the France civilization. I feel like if he's going to keep training troops, Germany might be the way to go, but otherwise, Brands, you love that health buff coming in at number seven we have alexander from kingdom 1623 my man alex is rocking 14.3 billion kill points let's take a look that breakdown we got 621 million t4 kills 393 million t5 kills pretty close distribution here as far as the points go actually insane actually insane you can see his rock in germany that's a pretty common one we see amongst these top tier players 150 million power the, it, i mean like i know that's a lot but when you consider the power of the other players on this list alexander just goes to show like hey you don't need insane amounts of power you just got to kill your troops and get them back baby that's really all you need you don't need to have an insane amount of power all the time it looks Looks like he's got no album let's take a look at the commanders we got some of the same dudes we've been looking at guan yu nebu we got uh we got alex and trajan here we haven't seen those so far we already know the other players they have them commander zone 71 looks like he's missing a couple that is actually interesting i'm curious to know is it Lu Bu and Dao Chan, like how, how could you? I don't, I, I don't know. Anyway, his highest power ever was 258 million, so he's taken quite a substantial troop loss since then. But hey, that's what these troops are for, ladies and gentlemen. We have 265,000 victories, 3,200 defeats, 60, almost 65 million dead troops. Absolutely savage. Absolutely savage. I don't know what this avatar frame is doing here. It's, it's quite cute. But anyway, coming in at number. Number six, we have none other than Ahmad Aziz from Kingdom 1412. This dude rocking the Viking civilization, you know, it just seems fitting because the Vikings were absolute savage warriors, just like my man, 301 million power, 15.4 billion kill points. The breakdown looks like half a million T4, half a million T5, keeping it simple, keeping it a buck. You just put them on the field and Amon's going to knock them down. It is what it is. It's simple. You are there for his killing pleasure. And that's pretty much it. So this is some pretty insane pre KVK numbers. We see thrown up here by Ahmad. Actually crazy, man actually crazy coming in at number one highest power ever was 488 million that's crazy he just lines up these troops 
just to have him killed it, it 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 doesn't make a difference he will make sure that you lose that's pretty much what it is we got 313,000 victories 5,100 defeats we have almost 80 million dead troops dude actually crazy taking a look at the commanders we see another fully golden spread across the board here ladies and gentlemen we've got Guan Yu Nebu Pakal we got Zhang Yu these are the heavy hitters these are the guys that you want on your team if you wonder what commander should I be investing in to get kills like literally just look at these top players everyone's using Guan Yu everyone's using Nebu it's it's Zhang Yu all the way like everyone's using these commanders and it's actually insane but what's even more insane is that Kingdom 1412 has not only one but two players on the top 10 most deadly warriors list and you guessed it ladies and gentlemen coming in at number five we have baba tc out of turk do i have to say any more do i really have to say anything about baba i mean his presence is known look at the power look at the kills i mean i feel like there just isn't a more iconic player in rise of kingdoms than baba it's it's baba you think of a you think the strongest with some of the most amount of kills in the entire game and this this is the dude that you think of okay we got 15.6 billion kill points amon aziz is coming in close he's coming in hot baba you better watch out he's gonna take your spot for number one here in kingdom 1412 let's take a look at the breakdown we got 468 million t4 kills and 548 million t5 kills that breakdown is crazy more than double the kill points from tier 5 troops that's actually insane you guys are familiar with baba's album okay we've gone over this before my man's driving nice cars he's got a thing for motorcycles he's got the suits on this you already know okay you already know what baba is all about let's take a look in here we see his highest power however 1 billion 235 million just in just what actually crazy 306,000 victories 5,400 defeats we see 104 million dead troops Baba is not afraid the troops are disposable it, it just he just throws them out it doesn't matter you can kill however many t5s of Baba's you think you can try to kill it does he's just gonna have more than you okay he's just gonna have more troops than you so just get used to it your troops are gonna die his aren't and if they do he's not afraid to lose them rocking the Ottoman Empire okay he wants that skill damage let's take a look at these commanders we see once again we see Nebu we see Guan Yu we see Ramses Constantine is interesting here with the troop health that is quite the choice of course and we see a full golden board it's exactly what you would expect from Baba everything on here is all gold all shiny all sparkly all perfect but ladies and gentlemen Baba is only number five on this list can you but there's four players that have killed more troops than Baba guys if you made it this far into the video drop a thumbs up on it and take a look at number four who is none other than good father from kingdom 1556 now good father actually was number one on rise of kingdoms official kill point list but that was august ladies and gentlemen that was august and my man at this point is number four the three players ahead of good father at this point which let's be real that's gonna change okay that's gonna change good father's a killing machine he always has been he always will be he's got 470 70 million power 16.4 billion almost a billion more than baba that's actually insane let's take a look here at the breakdown we got 587 million t4 kills 525 million t5 kills another two to one ratio here with t4 to t5 every t5 unit you put on the field good father's gonna kill it you can bet your bottom dollar on that let's take a look at the album it's self-explanatory okay well like i said before we got the classiest of the bunch in the top 10 most kills okay some might say that he is the godfather of rise of kingdoms you have troops and if he's not happy about that they're gonna end up dead okay you come into my house on the day my daughter's to be married and you ask me to do murder money of course, rocking the Germany civilization to get that training buff, get that training boost in there. Take a look at his highest power. He's pretty much there, okay? He's pretty much at his highest power ever. 292,000 victories, 5,600 defeats, 65 million dead troops. Totally insane there. You gotta love it. And of course, when it comes to the commanders, who do we see? We see Nebu, we see Guan, we see Zhang Yu, and there's another trade in there. And what is this Moctezuma, man? We got, we see these Moctezuma, like what? 
these guys just have so many extra legendary commander sculptures that they're investing in one of the worst commanders in the entire game that's actually insane i cannot believe that and uh hey if you have leftover sculptures send them my way boys i could use them okay but yeah i think this should paint a pretty good picture for you guys if you want kills you want to be using nebu guan zhang now of course we all know Attila Takeda, absolute killing machine, absolute killing combo. But right now, this trio is where it's at. Totally insane. And you also notice there's tons of AoE here. Tons of AoE between these two commanders. We always tip our hat, round of applause for Goodfather Kingdom 1556. But we got to move on. Coming in at number three, we have none other than... Uh, we have uh, Min Zong. My apologies if I pronounced that wrong or if Google Translate is absolutely terrible. My man at 125 million power. That's all you need, folks, to come in the top three in Rise of Kingdoms right now. 16.7 billion kill points. And the crazy part is when I started making this list about 12 hours ago today, I have written in my notepad that he has 16.6 billion, which means he's gotten a hundred million kill points in the last 12 hours. <laughs> like I get, I, you know, we must be in KVK here in, in kingdom 1392, right? But holy shit, dude, that's actually hilarious. We see yet another player rocking the France civilization here in the top 10 most deadly warriors list. Let's take a peek here at the album. I could do this all day. Clearly he does kill your troops all day. That's what he does. That's why he plays this game. My man looking like an absolute Chad. Looks like he travels quite a bit. This is a lot of beach pictures, a lot of cool stuff going on. My man's got it going on and you got to give him props for those sunglasses. Let's go. Highest power ever, 160 million, 265,000 victories, 2,300 defeats. We have 25 million dead troops. Let's take a look at the kill point breakdown. We see 689 million kills of T4 and 480 six million t5 kills let's take a look at the commanders and uh what do you know we see some familiar faces here as always guan yu we see zhang yu we see harold trajan these are all faces that you should know and love by now ladies and gentlemen he's missing a commander which commander don't you have i don't understand what's going on here anyway moving on to number two we have none other than mf from kingdom 1029 he's a legend ladies and gentlemen you've seen the videos here on youtube he's been i think on John Wick's channel. Redline has talked about him on his channel. Everybody knows MF because he is an absolute slayer, okay? Slayer. Gain the lead. 451 million power, 17.3 billion kill points. He's almost a billion higher than third place. That breakdown looks like 529 million T4. 596 million T5 units killed. Look at that. Almost 12 billion kill points from T5 alone. Absolutely insane. Let's take a look at his highest power ever with 600 million. Doesn't need that much power to get this many kill points. That's for sure. 486,000 victories, 6,500 defeats. We have 161.9 million dead troops. As a matter of fact, let's take a look at his Hall of Heroes for his most recent KVK in 1365. My man had 55 million dead troops in a single KVK. Like, what? That is actually crazy. That is actually insane. He's rocking Arabia. You know he's going to rally your objective, okay? Just suck it up. He's going to kill your troops, and there's nothing you can really do about it. Let's take a look here. He doesn't have an Iron Guard. He doesn't need it. That 1% of health, garbage. Who needs it? No one needs it. Not me. That's what he said. He's got... The drill master Guan Yu, we see Zhang Yu. Edward of Woodstock is quite the choice. I would say this is the most premium spot here out of all of your commander uh, view. So I don't know why we have literally one of the worst commanders in the knighthead position, but that is quite interesting. Where's Trajan? Where's Nebu? What's going on here? We got two of the, uh, anyway, he knows what he's doing. Okay, look at these kill points. My man is crushing it, absolutely impressive. But that's not it, ladies and gentlemen, because MF is only number two on the list. Coming in at number one, the player with the most kills in all of Rise of Kingdoms history is the king of Kingdom 1545, and that is Rise of Farmer. Yes, this is, he's a farmer. He's literally a farmer. Let's take a look at him. 18.6 billion kill points. He's 1.3 billion higher than MF. 
This is insane. Dude, look at, oh my God. He has almost, he has almost a billion T4 kills. What? 959 million. That's insane. He has 437 million T5 kills and sitting at only 136 million power. That's all you need, ladies and gentlemen. You don't got to be a 500 million power Andy, okay? You just get enough troops to kill the amount of kill players you want and then you just refill them when they're dead. That's all you got to do. Looks like we've got a couple of halls of hero here. We see millions and millions of troops coming back. We got none of this is even close to MF. Let's just be clear here he killed like all of his troops in a single kvk and would you look at that he's rocking the france civilization so for those of you who are picking like vikings and ottoman and these other things look if you want to get the kills I, I don't know we've seen a lot of france and germany here in this video that seems to be the way to go highest power ever 203 million he's got 371,000 victories 3,400 defeats 60 million dead troops and i just can't believe it i just can't believe who's going to be the first one to 20 billion who do you think it's going to be comment down below we take a look at these commanders and i'm a little bit confused okay we've got harold we've got takeda we've got attila and we've got nebu that is really interesting we don't see the guan yu we don't see the zhang yu i don't know what's going on here but these are some interesting commanders that we're seeing in the commander view but hey it is what it is and it's clearly working for him because this player has the most kills out of anybody in this entire game Whew, okay if you made it all the way to the end of this video round of applause for you that is quite impressive i did not think it was going to be this long but if you made it this far i hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel and clicking that bell to be notified the next time i upload a video of course drop a thumbs up on the video if you haven't this video took a much longer to make than i thought with that being said comment down below your favorite rise of kingdoms of warrior that you saw in this video and as always my social media links are in the description below so make sure you follow me over there on twitter facebook discord and instagram all the links are always down below with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.